going to be traveling across the southeast or the south central over the coming days, you really need to stay weather aware. It's a good time to download the AccuWeather app because we are tracking a major ice storm for so many across the Carolinas. And then we mentioned that significant snow to the north where that colder air is in place. Southeast Virginia being one of those regions that could see a decent amount of cold. And then it's just going to be unseasonably cold for the weekend. Your temperatures will be below average. Over the last three hours, though, starting to see a little early morning precipitation just across uh, coastal North Carolina and South Carolina. And you can even start to see a little bit of that precip switching over to some freezing rain. So that will make for some icy conditions, and this is expected to pick up and increase as we go on throughout the day, mostly in the afternoon, then the evening, and overnight hours. And I mentioned this glaze. Look at this here. You can actually see some rain showers switching over to freezing rain in places like Baton Rouge there, coastal Louisiana, southwest Louisiana, a Lake Charles area. It wouldn't surprise me if you're waking up and you have some sleet outside. So give yourself uh, plenty of extra travel time along I-10. You'll come across some pockets of some steady to moderate rain. The cold air is in place. It is there. The cold Arctic air is just rushing in across much of the region. 20s for Nashville to Huntsville, 30s for Atlanta, below that freezing mark of 32 degrees. Raleigh, you're below the freezing mark too, 29. That's why we're starting to see some of that precip switching over. A closer look at the temperatures in the Carolinas at this hour. Greensboro in the 20s, Raleigh I mentioned as well. Along the coast, you're still holding on to some 30s, but your temperatures will be falling as we go throughout the day. And uh, look at this northerly wind. That is just going to be helping to usher in a lot of the cold air. And as it does, we'll start to see that switch over. So there's that coastal we were talking about all week long how it would form off the coast of the Carolinas and with that wraparound moisture and with cold air in place that's why we'll see the icy mix across much of central South Carolina as Charlotte right on the line there you could pick up a couple of inches of snow but really I, I still think you could see a trace to maybe a tenth of an inch of ice as well so I wanted to show you future radar and zoom in on the Carolinas and notice as we get to three four five o'clock and on it's just continuous here with this moisture right along the coastal areas that's why we think we could see that significant icing and also the potential potential for some snow showers. Now where we can find the heaviest snow, you saw that video of Virginia Beach. Maybe it's a precursor of what's to come uh, because you could be seeing the highest amounts with this system that is going to continue out into the Atlantic. So you could be looking at 6 to 12 inches of snow extending out from that right on the line there to the east of Raleigh, 3 to 6 inches. And then I mentioned places like Charlotte. Uh, maybe you pick up a coating to an inch. But if anything, I think concerns for ice are definitely there. Uh, and where you're looking at more of the significant impacts, Wilmington, Florence, right up there to Greenville, North Carolina. And even where you could see some of those impacts down to Charleston, you could still pick up a trace to a tenth of an inch. And those. What kind of precipitation you can expect and how much, how likely you're going to see that. So for places like Columbia, South Carolina, 500s to over a tenth of an inch and notice the timing on this throughout the day on Friday as we mentioned same thing for Greenville North Carolina this is going to go on throughout much of the day and this is an area that could pick up to some, just some tranquil weather on Saturday but you'll be feeling widespread cold, uh, especially in Atlanta up to Raleigh and Nashville. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s. It's, it's around for the Carolinas. It won't be as cold across parts of Florida, the Panhandle, and out to the Central Gulf Coast. I mentioned so, how it was a little bit of an icy mess across parts of Texas, taking you into South Texas, where they don't usually see this. Look at the rain switching over to a little bit of uh, sleet and freezing rain at that little rain-snow mixture. And then there's that glaze again right across I-10. And you really have to be careful when you're traveling along I-10, especially if you're going eastbound. But lots of cold air in place from Wichita all the way down to Waco, teens, lower 20s, even Houston. What a chilly, chilly morning. And with, when you're right above that freezing mark, that's when you can start to see that transition uh, from that rain to the from the rain to the snow showers. And look at the northerly wind; it is breezy as well down to Corpus Christi. So this is an area to watch again: I-35 North and then I-10, of course, going east, where you could have that brief period of sleet and freezing rain. Give yourself some extra travel time today, or maybe just don't be on the roads. It will remain cold for today, hanging on to some coastal showers. I do think that will dry out and wrap up as we head throughout the day for our Friday temperatures for today. It's going to be a little bit.